Welcome to Pocket Guide. Pocket is a very agile hero. Your goal is to disrupt fights, single out enemy heroes, and eliminate their soft heroes as quick as possible. Spirits With Pocket's free. skills, you can slip to the back lines and create chaos. Skills. Pocket's first skill is Barrage, which slows and damages enemies. Hitting enemy heroes amplifies your damage. This is also a great traversal tool combined with dash jumping. While dash jumping or dropping from a zip line, Barrage carries your momentum, which can be used to initiate or escape. I'm so sorry. Second skill is another great traversal tool. It summons a cloak that damages any enemy it passes through. Pressing two again teleports you to its current location. It allows you to pass through the tanky enemies and go directly to the back lines. It is also a great escape tool. Third skill, well, it turns you into a briefcase. During this time, you will be untargetable and invulnerable. No, 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 no. Exiting the state damages the enemy. I don't remember New York. You can dangerous. end the state early by pressing the left mouse button. Combo Please this with your ahead. second skill for escape, or just simply annoying enemy. I'm not afraid of you. Burn it down. No more Fourth games. skill deals damage over time. It also suppresses their healing factor. This is a great late game skill. I will show you later the build that makes it broken. Remember, this the is not fatal. You must deal the killing blow. Laning phase. Take the first skill and use this to harass or take creep kills. Your primary weapon is a great at close combat. Stay between the columns or boxes and play around it. Secure creep kills with your melee. I usually take the third skill after that. Some heroes have a huge power spike and starts to play aggressive after getting their new skill. Your third skill allows you to dodge and punishes them. Here, I usually want to get the cooldown of my third skill lower, so I level it up as soon as I can in combination with the second skill. Pocket is also really annoying when your enemies try to gank you. Be aware of the sound cues, and you can easily evade them and waste their rotation. Items for the early game, damage items, close quarters, high velocity mag, restorative shot, vitality items, Melee lifesteal, extra stamina, enduring spirit, sprint boots. You can skip the boots if you want. Spirit items. Mystic reach, mystic burst, and duration extender. Main purpose for early build is strengthen your bullet damage and ready spirit build for the mid-game. Fighting. Getting hits with your first skill is a great watt to initiate. Amping your damage and slowing them. Use your second skill to anticipate their next move and move in for the kill. The amber hand will stand. Remember, your third skill deals a lot of damage too. I didn't come this far just to die. Items for mid-game, damage item, point blank, headhunter, hunter's aura, and soul shredder in any order. Vitality items, spirit lifesteal, bullet lifesteal, divine barrier. 
Spirit item. Mystic vulnerability. Superior duration. Superior cooldown. Mid-game items focus on spirit and vitality items. Lifesteal is a very big factor in Pocket's gameplay, especially when you hit a lot of heroes with your fourth skill. You can stay in the fight longer with these items. Pocket as a hero may look easy to kill, unlike the big tanky heroes, but in reality, Pocket can also stay in the fight. I took advantage of my mobility and lifesteal in these fights. Items mid to late game, depending on the enemies. Pocket must have skills that slow or disable enemies. Hello. Tell I like the knockdown item to catch enemies and cancel channeling skills. Like Seven's ultimate. Seven. Especially Seven. Cold Front is also a great item to take. Damage, slow, and lifesteal. Building for your fourth skill. The item you really need for this skill is the Mystic Vulnerability upgraded to Escalating Exposure. Late game fights might be long, and this skill is very useful to those tanky enemies. You can also use Mystical Jump for initiation. Press the skill again to go down. Use your ultimate then second skill and create chaos. Third skill, while your cloak is traveling and escape or kill them with your team. My build with pocket.